Okay, this was the easiest case set among all the five case sets here. Look at this one. It's given that a shopping mall has a large basement parking lot with parking slots. Some of them are SUVs, some of them are compact cars. SUV will occupy two places, compact will occupy only one place here. So, they'll come in a sequence. Sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is cars 2 and 5. Now, we get the slots. I can read this case set. Let's directly jump to the question. Initially, cars number 1, 2, 3 and 4 arrive among which 1 and 4 are SUVs. They'll park like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, 2 and 3 are compact cars. These are compact cars and 1 and 4 are SUVs. So, 1 and 4 will occupy 2, 2 places here. Car 1 then leaves. That means car 1 was SUV. That means now 2 places will be vacant. So, I'll write 2 Vs here. 2, 3, 4. Followed by the arrival of car 5, a compact car. So, compact car will occupy which place? This one. So, I'll have one vacant place here. 2, 3, 4. And car 6, followed by the arrivals of car 5, a compact car. And car 6, an SUV. So, SUV will occupy which place? Vacant 2. I cannot park SUV here. So, next one will be 6 here. After that, then car 7 and car 8 arrive. Car 4 then leaves. Car 4 then leaves. Car 4 was an SUV. So, now I'll have a distribution like this. 5, vacant, 2, 3, then 2 vacant places. And the next one will be 6. Then... Then car 7 and car 8 arrive. Car 7 and car 8 arrive. Car 7 is an SUV. So car 7 will occupy which place? These two places. So I'll put 7 here. And car 8 which is a compact car. So I can park car 8 here. So my distribution will be 5, 8, 2, 3, 7 and 6. Now what's the question? At this moment, which among the following numbered cars is parked next to car 3? Next to car 3 is car number 2 and car number 7. Car number 2 is not there in the option. So, I will mark second option. So this was a very easy question. Okay, let's look at the second question of this set. Again, it's about the possible configuration. Suppose 8 cars have arrived, of which 2 have left. Also, suppose that car 4 is a compact car and 7 is an SUV. Which of the following is a possible current configuration of the parking lot? Which of the following is a possible current configuration of the parking lot? If you look at all the options here, first, second and fourth, 8, 2, 8, 2, 3, V, 5 is common here. Fine. Let's talk about the third option, V, 2, 3, 7, 5. Now, 7 is parked between 3 and 5. This is only possible when car 4 leaves and 7 replaces that car. But that is again not possible because 4 is a compact car and 7 is an SUV. So, 7 cannot replace car number 4. So, third is not possible. So, this option will be ruled out. I am left with first, second and fourth. And if you look at first, second and fourth option, 8, 2, 3, V is common here. That means definitely 8, 2, 3, V will be there. Now, if you look at the fourth option, it says 8, 2, 3, V, then 5, 6 and 7. Maybe I'll say that initially 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cars were parked. After that, 1 will leave and 8 will take the place of 1. So it becomes 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And then 4 will leave. So it will become 8, 2, 3, vacant, 5, 6, 7. So this can be my answer. So, possible configuration would be fourth option. I hope this is clear to everyone. Let's look at the next question. Okay. Suppose the sequence at some point of time is 4, 5, 6, V, 3. Then, which of the following is not necessarily 2? Maybe I'll say that initially 1, 2 and 3 will arrive. But if you look at the position of 3, there are 4 places before that. What does it mean? That means car number 1 and car number 2 must be SUV. That's why there are 4 places before the third car. So I can say that these 4 places are for 2 SUVs. Then 1 will leave. It will be replaced by car number 4. Then car number 2 will leave or not. I don't know. But there is one more place for car number 5. Then 6 is parked here. This one is vacant. So I can say that 1 and 2 both 1 must be SUVs. 
So which of the following is not necessarily true? Car 1 is an SUV. Yes, it has to be. Car 4 is a compact. Yes, because car 4 will occupy only one place. Car 3 is an SUV. I am not sure about that. Because maybe it may or may not be. So this is not necessarily true. Car 5 is a compact. Yes, because car 5 has occupied only one place. So my answer should be third option. Let's look at the last one. Okay, what's given here? Let's see. They're saying that suppose that a car 4 is not the first car to leave and the sequence at the time between the arrival of the car 7 and car 8 is V7365. That means car 7 has already arrived and car 8 is yet to be arrived. Fine. But if you look at this one, I'm left with car 3, 5, 6, 7. That means 1 is not there, 2 is not there, 4 is not there. And it's given that car 4 is not the first car to leave. That means either car 1 is the first car to leave or car 2 is the first car to leave. Let's draw a possibility. Let's say initially there were 5 cars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fine. Now car 4 will not leave. That means either car 1 will leave or car 2 will leave. We don't know car 1. Car 1 is an SUV or compact car. But if you look at this configuration, I am left with how many places? 1, 2 and there are 2 places just before 3. Fine. Let's assume that car 1 will leave. So I will have 1 vacant place here. Then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. And maybe after that, car 4 will also leave. So we will have vacant 2, 3, vacant 5. But the second case would be what? Car 2 will leave first. Car 2 is the first car to leave. So I will have 1, vacant 3, then 4 will also leave, vacant 5. Now it's a turn of car 6 to car 6 to be parked. Now there is one vacant place. But car 6 was parked between 3 and 5. Still, there was a place between 1 and 3. Even then I park car 6 between 3 and 5. What does it mean? Car 6 must be a compact car. Yes or no? Must be a SUV. That's why I did not park car 6 between 1 and 3. So maybe car 6 will arrive. It will be parked between 3 and 5 because it's an SUV. And after that, 1 will leave and 7, 8, 7 will arrive. And now 1 will leave. We'll have 1 vacant place here. Then vacant 3, 6, 5. And then 7 will arrive. 7 is an SUV. That's why I did not occupy this place. I'll say 7 will arrive. Or car 1 was already there. Now 7 will arrive. I'll say 1, 7, 3, 6, 5 and now car 1 will leave. So we'll have 1 vacant place, then 7, then 3, then 6, then 5. But you don't have to solve it like this. I know that 6 was parked between 3 and 5. Why? Because 4, 6 has replaced 4. So 6 must be a compact car. Yes or no? So 6 must be an SUV. And fourth option says that it's a compact car. So this is definitely false.